Open Core, the basic way, part number five, USB. Open Core is the easiest way to keep your Mac Pro up to date. Referring to our other episodes in this series, you know already how to install and use Open Core. But what if you just want to try Open Core and test the benefits of it without having it permanently on your drive? Due to the flexibility of Open Core, you're free to choose where you install the little extension. For example, on a USB drive. Have at least one USB 2.0 drive with the size of your choice at hand and get ready to open core it. It doesn't matter what size the USB drive have. Everything happens in the 200 megabyte EFI partition of every drive you are using. As always, with booting up our Mac Pro in recovery mode by pressing and holding the Command plus R key until the gray boot logo appears. It could take up to 2 minutes depending on the speed of your disk. Once we reach the recovery mode, go to Utilities and open the terminal. In here, we have to disable the system integrity protection called SIP. To check the status, type CSR, Util, Status, and hit Enter. Usually, it will be enabled. Type CSR, Util, Disable, and hit Enter. The system integrity protection is now disabled. Reboot your Mac. As you can see, this Mac Pro is up to date and no updates are available. Get Martin Law's Open Core package by downloading it from the link in the description. I have downloaded it already and copied it to the USB drive named OC. Plug in the USB drive which should contain the Open Core extension as well. Mine is titled Boot OC. Go to the Utilities and open the Disk Utility. Be sure to have a backup from the USB drive, because we're going to erase it. Choose a name and erase it in the format macOS Extended Journal, and be sure the partition scheme is GUID Partition Map. Unzip Martin's Open Core package. Open Clover Configurator and mount the EFI of the correct drive. The upper EFI partition is my Mojave boot SSD. I name it macOS. The lower EFI partition is the USB drive, which I named OC boot. Click on Mount Partition. Confirm with your system password and the EFI partition will appear on your desktop. Close Clover Configurator and open the EFI partition of the USB drive. Drag and drop the EFI folder from Martin's package to the EFI partition of the USB drive. Open the Bless Open Core script and confirm with your system password.
Reboot your Mac while keeping the USB drive plugged in. Mention the new boot picker screen and the stylish black and white Apple boot logo. Let's check for new system updates again. If you like, upgrade to macOS Big Sur. Or just when you boot the next time, remove the stick and keep on working with an unopened cord macOS. You decide. Plug your OC boot stick at any time and boot your Mac to get it back when you need it. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.